One of the most frustrating things for a powerlifting athlete is to train for weeks and weeks and weeks on end and end up at a competition and, and fail the bars, underperform. Um, and that's usually caused by a lack of proper preparation. So today I want to talk about peaking. What is peaking and how to achieve it? So peaking basically is being your best self on any given day. Um, and in peaking, there are three factors. There's fatigue. Now fatigue is an energy debt created by training volume. So if you train hard, if you train a lot, if you do a lot of sets, a lot of reps, if you've been doing that for a long time, you create, you increase your fatigue level. So you're sore, you're exhausted, uh, you might even not sleep as well. So the second factor is fitness. Fitness is the ability to perform uh, a sport-specific task. In this case, for powerlifting, it's testing your one rep max on the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. And preparedness is how ready you are to display that fitness. Now, when looking at these three factors, it's important to notice that the, uh, the more fatigue that you create, the more volume, the, the training volume that you have under you, uh, the more your preparedness drops, okay? If you're tired, if you're sore, you can't display your fitness well, not optimally whatsoever. So what you wanna do is decrease fatigue in order to increase preparedness. But the tricky part is how to keep your fitness levels high. Because if you, if you lower your fatigue level, that means you also drop your volume of training. But how do you keep your fitness levels high if your training volume drops? So here's a good way of doing that. So about two, three weeks prior to your meet, you'll do an overreaching phase. So you'll do a lot of work with a lot of weight. So it's pretty heavy and it's a lot of volume. So for example, you'll do a phase about uh, five sets of three, five times three for 90%. That's a lot of work, that's very demanding, it's taxing, uh, it's hard to recover from. Once you've done that overreaching phase, and by the way, overreaching phase, there's a fine line between overreaching and overtraining. You never wanna fall in the overtraining uh, zone, uh, but there is a fine line between both. So um, the better the athlete, the more experience the athlete has, the more he'll know his body, and the more he'll be able to tell the difference between both, but it is a tricky game to play. Now, but that's where a good coach comes in handy. So, once you've done your overreaching phase, you're really tired. What you need to do now is yeah, you actually deserve and you earned a deload phase. So what you do the week after is you drop your volume by about 50%. So now you're doing two times two, but you're keeping your intensity high. You can actually still increase your intensity and get those numbers even higher. So that way, you're still keeping your fitness levels high but you're dropping fatigue because your volume is decreased. Therefore, your preparedness increases and gets you ready for meet day. The, the week of the meet, what you wanna do is you wanna do a deload phase. That's where you let your body recover fully. Uh, some people like to take a full week off. I don't do that. I don't like to do that just because um, I, I like to feel confident at a meet, and I feel um, for most people, in my case, uh, in my experience as a coach uh, and as an athlete, um, I, I lose some of that edge. I lose some of that um, uh, confidence in holding a bar in my hands, holding that bar on my back. Um, so I like to still use uh, very lightweight, but I still like to lift a little bit of weight in that, in that week just to keep me um, uh, ready for meet day. So what that does here, uh, because you're deloading, now what you do is you're recovering completely from your overreaching phase. So now your levels of fatigue drop considerably, so your preparedness increases by a whole bunch. Now, if you do that, Optimally, what happens is you reach a circumpensation phase, and that's on meet day. And basically what it means is you, uh, you achieve about two or 3% uh, over your regular performance that you've been getting in the gym. So timing is everything when it comes to peaking.